Hello everyone and welcome back to another Vlogmas video. This is actually going to be the last Vlogmas video. Uh, I was originally planning to do one last weekend um, for like we had our Christmas date night um, and I was going to do one for last weekend and then one for this week in sort of the build up week to Christmas. But then there wasn't actually that much to show you from the weekend, we literally just went for a meal. So I decided not to upload yesterday, which was Sunday, and I'm just going to combine it all into one. And I've got quite a busy week this week, it is the last sort of few days leading up to Christmas, and I've got something on almost every day, except for today. But tonight, we've got our sort of, not our big Christmas shop, because we've got that at the start of December, but this is just sort of the Christmas shop that is everything for Christmas dinner and all that sort of thing and to cover us for like Christmas into New Year. So I've got that coming tonight and then tomorrow I think I'm going to nip into town because um, I still need to get a couple of bits that I couldn't get on the shop that's coming um, and just a couple of like last minute baking bits as well that I want to get. So I think I'm going to nip into town tomorrow to get that. Um, Wednesday we are going to the cinema. We've booked to go and see Violent Night. Um, which looks really really good perfect combination of like a Christmassy film for me and something that Richard will actually enjoy and um, so we're going to see that on Wednesday and we're going to go and get some food beforehand as well and then Thursday I've got an appointment in the morning and then I'm going to get my hair done in the afternoon and then on Friday I've got my work's Christmas meal and then of course Saturday is Christmas Eve so Wednesday is my last working day. I'm just on a break from work at the moment. So I thought I would jump on and start the video. I don't think I'm really going to show you much today because I'm not even going to be outside for long because it is pouring down. So we're going to do a very quick run outside with the dog. So I won't be showing you any of that today. But I thought I would come on and start the video and then I'm just going to take you through the week with me. But what I will do is I will put the few clips in now that I filmed on Saturday when we went for our meal. Um, I'll just show you my outfit and then the food and where we ate at. We went to Washington Central Hotel, which if you're a local to me, you will know where that is. Um, I had a lovely little date night. Um, so I'll put some photos and some clips in now from that. Um, and then I will pick up with you again when there is more to show you. About ready to go out for our meal. Um, as I've probably already said, we're going for a meal at the Washington Central Hotel tonight. Um, a little Christmas date night. Um, we're running a bit late, as usual. But I thought I'd quickly jump on and show you my outfit before we go. Um, as you will be unsurprised to know, it is all from New Look. Um, so I've got this green top. This is actually one from last year. I wore this for my work's Christmas meal last year, which if you follow me on Instagram, you will probably have seen back then. Um, but I'm not a believer in wearing something once and then never again. I like to re-wear something, especially if it's something that makes me feel comfortable and that I'm happy with. Um, so it's just got this little drawstring tie, sort of a bit of a crop with a frill and these nice balloon sleeves. I have got my bracelet on from uh, Bon Bon Bracelets. I will link them down below, my Believe bracelet and then a couple of Joma jewellery ones as well. One off my mum and one off my husband. Uh, of course, wedding ring and I've redone my Christmassy nails. Red lip to match the nails. And then I have got these leggings, kind of a jegging but not jeans. Um, these sort of leather look trousers on as well and then just a pair of black suede pumps and then I'm going to put my fur coat over the top as well to keep me nice and warm and um, so yeah we're about ready to go and then I'm going to take you along with us for some of the meal as well
that was just a little snippet of our date night uh, on Saturday night at Washington Central. We absolutely love the food there um, and we like to try and go sort of for special occasions and then for like a date night around Christmas sort of time. So we really enjoyed that. It's nice to just get a bit dressed up and go and spend some time together. And of course it helps that the food is absolutely delicious as well, especially that vegetable soup. Oh my God, it is Oh, it's just perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, yeah, so that was just a little snippet of that. And I thought while I am on filming, I will quickly show you what we have put in the Christmas Eve boxes. Or say we, I do them. Um, Richard likes to be surprised with what's in it, so I just put everything together. So I do a Christmas Eve box, one for us, one for my mum and one for Richard's mum and dad. Um, they're not like a kid's Christmas Eve box like you would expect where you put like the pyjamas and maybe a book or something in. Um, this is literally just a box full of Christmassy themed treats like sweets and stuff like that just to enjoy on Christmas Eve and then through till the end of the year. Um, it was something I started a couple of years ago um, during obviously all of the lockdowns and everything. You couldn't spend as much time with family as you would like to over Christmas. So just as like a little treat for everybody, I put together these Christmas Eve boxes. So I'm going to show you the box now and then show you what I've put in them. Because hopefully by the time this goes up on Christmas Eve, people will have already opened them. Um, so I'm going to show you the box. The boxes I actually got, like I say, a few years ago from Argos. Um, I think they were about £10. They're like a nice solid wooden box with a proper clasp on them. I think they do still do a version of these. It's not exactly the same. But I noticed this year they did have something very similar. So if I can still find it on the website, I will link it below because chances are it might be going into the clearance with Christmas being pretty much over if anyone wants to grab one for themselves. And the stuff that's in there, I'm not going to give prices basically because I can't really remember them. Um, but everything was from either Poundland or Home Bargain. So it was all like £1.50 or less pretty much. Um, and I just wanted to show it to show that if you want to do something like this, you don't have to go overboard. You don't have to spend a fortune. Um, obviously the boxes are reusable so even though they cost £10 each we've now used them for three years in a row so that's like £3 a year and they're still in amazing condition so we're going to be able to keep using them for years to come and then the stuff that I've put in them probably worked out at maybe about £12-£13 for each box so you don't have to break the bank and they're absolutely full of stuff as well. Um, so if you want to do something like this, even for kids, like you don't have to put all the extravagant stuff in that some people do. You can go and get like puzzle books and little toys, all that sort of thing, just from places like Home Bargains. And you can make a really nice Christmas Eve box just without breaking the bank. So I'll show you what I've put in ours. As I said, this is the box. It is a wooden box from Argos and it's got a proper clasp on there. As you can see, you just slide it open. It's got on the front there, do not open until the 24th. And then on the top, happy Christmas to one and all. And then if I open it up, the inside is red, which I just think makes it even more Christmassy. And then as you can see, I have literally filled this to the brim and it only cost about £12. I have got a couple more little bits to go in for the dog, which is what this is, if you're wondering. This is like a dog treat. So I have got a couple more bits to go in there for him. Because in ours I like to include a couple of bits for him to enjoy over Christmas as well. But I'm just going to start taking stuff out and showing you everything I got. So obviously candy canes are a staple for a Christmas Eve treat. I got a box of about 12 of these out of home bargains. So I just split them up between the boxes. And then I did the same with these as well. I got a packet with about, I think it was about 12 um, chocolate lollies in. And I've just split them with a few in each box. And then in each one I have put a box of these festive friends that are a bit like those little like animal cracker biscuits like uh like a half coated digestive but they are cadbury christmas shaped ones i got a box of these last year and absolutely loved them and then we have got some dairy milk buttons just basic but obviously christmas themed we have also got a couple of these chocolate lollies these reminded me a bit of the sort of lollies you used to be able to get from thornton's you maybe still can i don't know um, but yeah, they reminded me of those. So I thought I would get a couple of those ones. Uh, white chocolate little Milky Bar reindeer. Because um, I know Richard is partial to some white chocolate. Bag of chocolate Santas. I think some of them were Santas and some of the bags were snowmen. Um, so yeah, just a little bag of chocolates there. 
And then we've got a bag of Kit Kat Santas. I actually thought these were reindeers, but no, they're Santas. Um, I love like the, the bunnies at Easter and these at Christmas. Love a bit of Nestle chocolate. And then the last couple of sweet treat things we've got is a couple of sort of like selection boxes. So I got a Malteser and Friends one. So you've got like your Twix and your Mars and everything in there. And then a Cadbury one as well. So you've got like your Freddos, your Curly Whirlies, your Fudgies, etc. And then last but not least, one of these little Christmas ornaments. This is the first time I've put an ornament in, but I just happened to see them in Home Bargains. And I think they were like $1.50. They say $1.99 on them, but I don't think they actually cost that much. Um, and I just thought they were really sort of nice and traditional. And they reminded me of the giant light up santa heads that used to be in our town as part of the decorations they just looked really retro and i really like a sort of classic retro themed decoration i'm all about like memories and pastimes and i just thought it would be a nice tradition to start that each year i get a new bauble to go on the tree so i got one of these to go in each box and hopefully they will get the idea and it'll be on the tree next year so yeah that is everything i put in said it literally costs like 12 13 pound for each box yeah so you don't have to break the bank and i think i got a heck of a lot of stuff for that price so if you're looking for ideas for next year definitely go and check out home bargains and poundland and as i say i will link the version of those christmas eve boxes that i got still do in the description if it's still available I'm showing you things I thought I would show you our Christmas Eve pajamas for this year because I don't think I've shown you these yet even though I've had them for a really long time so normally in past years I've got our Christmas pajamas from either Sainsbury's or M&S um, and occasionally from somewhere like Shop Disney but everywhere was just so expensive this year I think they've realized that people are like buying into the trend of matching Christmas pajamas and everywhere was going to cost a fortune but then I saw these in home bargains now they weren't exactly cheap but they were 11 99 which is a heck of a lot cheaper than anywhere else was and they just really made me laugh i love a good pun and the fact that they say chilling with my snowmies i just really liked it made me laugh when i saw them in home bargains um, and i like that they are long sleeved with like a cuff to the sleeve and then the bottoms are long stripy bottoms but they have also got a cuff to them as well so i got exactly the same ones for me and for richard they did have child's ones as well if you wanted them for the full family and as i say they were only 11.99 which was a heck of a lot cheaper than anywhere else i saw at the time and they actually feel like really good quality fabric as well they're not scratchy they're not too thick but they're not really flimsy and um, yeah i'm really really impressed with them and they feel comfortable when we've tried them on as well so obviously too late for this year but next year, take my advice and check out Home Bargains if you're looking for some family Christmas PJs. So yeah, I just thought I would show you those as well while I've been showing you things. Um, and then I'm going to pick back up with you another day. <laughs> last couple of clips last night we went to the cinema and um, well we actually went to Weatherspoons first for food and then we went to the cinema and uh, I didn't film anything in Weatherspoons it was absolutely packed I mean it was a Wednesday night and it was so busy and so loud and um, but the food was nice garlic bread was a bit naff but the rest of it was nice um, and then as you'll have seen from the clips we went to the cinema we saw Violent Night and um, I would definitely recommend that uh, it's the perfect combination for us really because I love a Christmas film um, and he's not really that bothered. Oh, the dog's here. Um, he's not really that bothered about a Christmas film, but this was sort of like an action comedy. Okay, Stitch wants to be the centre of attention. Um, yeah, this was like a sort of action comedy, but it was a Christmas film as well. So it was like the perfect combination for us. Um, really, really enjoyed it. It has David Harbour, who plays Hopper on Strange Things. Um, he was absolutely brilliant as Santa Claus. Um, so yeah, would recommend if it's still on at the pictures. When you see this, I would definitely... 
I would definitely recommend going to see that. Um, and then I have just been into town today, got the last sort of few bits that we needed for like Christmas dinner, Christmas afternoon tea, buffy thing that we do. Um, and just a couple of last minute bits and pieces. And then I've been for my hair freshened up, I've had my roots done and then a bit of a trim. I will tag my hairdresser in the description so that if you're a local you can go and check her out because she is absolutely lovely um, and she always does such a good job on my hair. Um, yeah, so now I'm just going to be in for the rest of the night with the dog. I did film a couple of little clips as I was wandering around town um, and the Christmas tree at the hairdressers, oh my god, it was like incredible. Um, so I will put those clips in now. Yeah, for the rest of the night I'm just going to be in with the dog watching another Christmas film. I think tonight I'm going to start on the Home Alones because um, I haven't watched any of those yet. There's only a couple of days till Christmas so I'm going to start on those tonight. I did get myself a new Christmas book as well while I was in town out of the works so I might make a start on that. Um, in fact I'll go and get you it and show you what I got because I know I showed you the last one. So this is my new book. I know part of the title is covered there by the sticker. Um, Christmas Wishes at the Chocolate Shop. Um, it sounds like my exact kind of book, like a cheesy, romantic book, um, and of course set at Christmas. So I am going to try and read this over the next week or so as well. It was on the three for six pound offer, which honestly, there's some really good titles on that offer. Like I know there's a couple of Beth O'Leary books on that offer. She's been really popular lately. Um, so yeah, definitely go and check out the three for six offer in the works. Because um, I did get another couple of books, but they aren't Christmassy ones. So I'm going to save those for New Year, um, or at least until after Christmas anyway, because um, I am going to actually try, I haven't, so I think I'm maybe going to do like a New Year goals video, but just while I'm on the subject, I am going to try next year to read more, because I just never sort of sit down and take the time to pick up a book, when I do, I get really engrossed and I absolutely love it, and it's a much better use of my time than just endlessly scrolling on my phone or flicking through channels, um, so in the New Year I am going to try and read more. So I have asked for a couple of books for Christmas and then I've just bought myself another couple on this three for six pound offer. So that is one of my aims for 2023. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave it here for tonight. Um, but I will pick back up with you again, possibly tomorrow because I have my work's Christmas meal tomorrow. Um, so I might pick up with you then just to sort of show you what I'm wearing for that. And then after that, it will be Christmas Eve. So we'll just see how the rest of the week goes. And I am still aiming, hopefully, to get this up on Christmas Eve at like 6, 7 p.m. So I will see you tomorrow. So it is the next day now. It is now Friday the 23rd. Um, and I am just about ready to go to my work's Christmas meal. Um, if you're local, we're going to the Galloping Horse. Um, we've been there last year for our Christmas meal and then I've been a couple of other times as well and I know the food's lovely so I'm really looking forward to that. I've got this lovely Christmassy red sort of peplum style top on um, just with the same leather look like leggings I had on um, when we went for our date night the other night that I showed you towards the start of this video um, and I think this is going to be pretty much it. 
I don't think I'm going to film anything else tomorrow. Something I did want to show you though was our Christmas cards this year. See, this is our first Christmas married. So I just wanted to document on film our first Christmas cards with husband and wife on. With everything that's gone on this year, it's kind of crazy to think that the wedding was still just this year. Um, but I love that we have these. And then we've also got this one for daughter and son-in-law. And then we even got this one for the very special newlywed couple, which I have never seen before. So I thought that was really sweet. I do also want to show you, I have made some cupcakes. I've actually made these from scratch. Um, I did just want to get a couple of those like Wilkinson's um, snowmen ones that I did in a previous video. But just because they were so easy and they were actually really nice, but they had none of them left. So I was just going to leave it and then I randomly decided that I would try making my own. Um, so I'll give it a go. They haven't turned out perfect, especially the decorating. I think my icing was a little bit runny, but I am going to show you them anyway because I'm pretty proud that I've managed to make them and not burn them. And from what I can tell, they look edible. So I'm going to show you those as well. So this is them. Um, I am actually really pleased with how they've turned out for the most part. This is one of the better ones. Um, the blue and white sprinkles were just from Marks and Spencers. Um, some of them have gone a little bit bumpy. Some of them, the icing hasn't dried brilliantly. But I'm pretty pleased with how they've turned out. It's one of the very, very few times I have made them from scratch and made my own icing. I am really pleased with them. And hopefully they'll taste nice when we try them over the next couple of days. I'm going to end this Vlogmas here. Had to end it with the tree in the background because um, I'm not going to take you along to my works meal tonight. And then honestly, there isn't really going to be much to show you tomorrow, even though it's Christmas Eve. Everything's already done or it's going to be done on Christmas Day. All that's happening tomorrow is my mum's coming up and we're going to cook the turkey. That is literally it. Other than that, I will just be watching Christmas films all day. So I just wanted to say that I hope when, whenever you're watching this, that you are having, you have or you had a wonderful Christmas. Um, and I will see you all again in the new year. Thank you so much for all the support on all of my videos this year and I am very excited for everything that is to come next year. If you have enjoyed this Vlogmas series then please do give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you with another video in January 2023. Thank you so much again and have a lovely time. Bye!